Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and we are live. Thursday night throwdown. The second installment. And we're live from Detroit, Michigan. The home of the Bad Bull Pistons. The home of the Tigers. The Red Wings. And I don't know if the MLS has a Detroit team. <laughs> Let's go. And now we're ready for our very first match here on Thursday Night Throwdown. Rachel Rage going up against Sylvia Simmons. And I'm not sure who's coming out first. And it looks like it's Rachel Rage. Rachel Rage is here. And she's ready to get things going. But just not yet. And she's feeling herself. And now she's hyped. The crowd is hyped. And what a first match we have. I can't wait for the pay-per-view. I'm dying to see what kind of a night that's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, Big Bad Bill has got something he wants to say to the universe. We'll find out what that is later on. Singles action. As the fans showing Rachel Rage their love. And this girl's tough as nails. And she'll be going up against a firecracker. Sylvia Simmons who's nothing but action. Probably the hypest female wrestler we have. And here she is. She's from the islands. She's down near the beach. We. <laughs> and they're telling her, go get him. She's got the same color scheme as Robert Reigns, the orange and black. And she's pumped and ready to go. That's Rachel Rage on the outside, just waiting, cracking the neck. And we'll see who will get the better of who. The crowd sitting down. Nope, some of them are still standing. Is that kid here today? <laughs> And look at this, show of respect, and that little kid is here, this kid comes to every show, here we go, and it's Rachel Rage starting things off, already too much, but Sylvia Simmons comes back, and don't worry ladies and gentlemen, we will take care of that, I wanted to start things fresh this Monday, on Mayhem, and also starting this Monday on Monday Night Mayhem, we will go down to five matches a night. As seven matches was just too much. It took too long. I couldn't do it tonight, sorry. I did schedule it, but it wasn't able to let me start this show with just five. But it's all right. As Rachel Ray is the shorter of the two. Putting her down. And now Rachel Rage already going for something here. Could we see a finisher already? She's showing off. And Sylvia Simmons coming right back. And Rachel Rage right back. Okay. And now Sylvia Simmons finally. And Rachel Rage. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta change that. We definitely gotta change that. I know I've been saying it, but I did want it to wait till next Monday. <clears throat> I promise you guys, starting this Monday, Monday Night Mayhem, you will not see as much. Sylvia Simmons with a serious kick to the face. And she's just beating on her. And now what is this? Oh wow, what a move. She's going to make a tap, but she can't because she had her arms. 
So Rachel Ridge right back. Sending her to the ropes. And she sends her out the ring. These fans are loving it. They're hype already. Our very first match of the night. And only a one count from the ref. And now Simmons getting tossed like a rag doll. Is that her finisher? It could be over already. Here comes the cover. One, two, no. Not enough. Sylvia Simmons kicks out and now she's in trouble. Rachel Rage going for the fallout assault. And Sylvia Simmons is in trouble. She might tap. She might tap. But no, she's not going to tap. Her arms are at 100. And she just pushes her in the ass. And now Simmons. Sylvia Simmons. Nice move. And I don't think this cover's gonna work. One, two, no. I didn't think so. It was just too soon. Sylvia Simmons didn't do enough. And now going after the crowd, everyone is on their feet. Not one man is sitting. And maybe these fans here in Detroit just wanted to see something new. And now Rachel Rage. She could have this match won. It's over. Rachel Rage with the victory. As Sylvia Simmons couldn't tap. I mean, she couldn't get out of that. She had to tap. And that match didn't last much longer than I expected. Rachel Rage with a huge upset. As many thought Sylvia Simmons with the height advantage would have had the win, but no. It's all Rage for Rage starting off throwdown. We'll be back. And on his way to the ring, as we are back here in throwdown, Big Bad Bill has got something he wants to say. Something he wants to get off his chest. And I have no idea what this is about. This wasn't scheduled. <laughs> Even though I said it was coming. <laughs> I just caught myself. Big Bad Bell in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what he got to say. And we're not going to read the whole thing. Something that's been bothering him. And the crowd is saying, you're not worthy. Could it be? It's Big Bad Bill taking a heel turn here. He can't keep his emotions bottled up anymore. What has he got to talk about? Hurry up and just spill it. It looks like somebody's been talking bad. And he wants them to bring it on anytime. He's not worried. And I wonder who is it that he's talking about. As I told you, ladies and gentlemen, the, the drama will start. And he's calling out Ace Adams. Big Bad Bill is calling out Ace Adams. Does he want to get the deck of cards? And is Adams going to come out? Adams, and there he goes. Ace Adams is here. And you just knew he wasn't going to turn down a call out. And let's see where this goes. The crowd is on their feet. And this Adams is hyping them up. Big Bad Bill could have put himself in a tough spot here. It looks like Adams got a mic. He's going to go first. He was walking around in the back. And he came out, and it's, he's got something he's got to say. <laughs> Guys, I'm not reading all of that. Let's see what's on his mind. And Big Bad Bill calling him a big man. It's time for his big speech. 
Hey, don't, don't, don't pay attention to that WWE. I'm gonna have a word with my writer. It's supposed to say LCW. <laughs> I can't help that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. It seems like Ace Adams thinks he's gonna save the day. He thinks it's a mission that he's gonna accomplish. So far, Ace Adams is controlling the conversation. And here goes the challenge. He's talking checkers, basketball, marshmallows, coins in the air, what? And he told him he'll beat him. It doesn't matter what it is, he'll beat him at anything. And I don't think Ace Adams cares. I said the LCW, what is this? We're gonna have to skip some of this. And he just called him a punk. Some tough balls for Ace Adams to call a man like that a punk. That's Big Bad Bill you're talking to. And he doesn't think he's on his level. Calls him a long way off. Oh, sorry, I skipped it. <laughs> My damn thumbs. The LCW universe. And Ace Adams telling the crowd thank you. It's because of them. The crowd wants more. They're shouting, we want more. And now he's saying, no matter what, he'll call the fight. It's going to get physical. And they're going to get it on, ladies and gentlemen. It's official. Ace Adams, Big Bad Bill. They're going to meet at the pay-per-view for the U.S. title. And Big Bad Bill looks like he's won this. He's gonna tell him he's gonna put him in his place. He's not afraid. And that is it. Big Bad Bill said all he had to say. And just like that, Ace Adams lost. Well, he lost this battle right here. The battle of words, the promos. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen more from the LCW. And ladies and gentlemen, we have an eight-man battle royal coming up next. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the show. I am sorry. A lot going on. And I don't know who's coming out first. We're going to see them as they come. Pause. Thursday night throwdown. And who could it be? <clears throat> it is Warden Sharp on his way to the ring. And just think about what could be on the line here. A win here in a battle royal can mean so much. As Warden Sharp on his way to the ring. We'll see exactly what he's about right here. As he'll be going up against seven other men. And he won't be able to trust either one of them. Don't worry about what that says on his jacket. <laughs> Warden Sharp. And who could the next opponent be? over-the-top battle royal. And the way things go here in the LCW, that means anyone can be tossed over the ropes at any moment, at any time. <laughs> he 
this crowd, these fans. They're excited. We have a packed house, not one seat empty. As we're live from Detroit, Michigan, and now the next man to enter the ring. Oh, are we still waiting? And here he is. Who could this be? Lights are off. Could it be Gorgeous Gordon? And no, it's Travis Benson with the guitar and all. <laughs> and you know he'll smash anyone's head with it at any second. But he can't use it tonight. He's going to have to go up against seven other men. But what a huge win it could be if he could pull it off. Our pay-per-view coming soon, our premium, uh, premium live event. I forgot you can't, it's not pay-per-view anymore. <laughs> Whatever. That's Travis Benson now. Seems ready to go. These fans don't look like they've sat down all day, except for now. What a moment we had previously between Ace Adams and Big Bad Bill. It looks like Big Bad Bill might have turned heel. Or could it be Ace Adams who made the heel turn? We'll see. We'll pay attention to that story as we keep going. And there's Freddie. The GOAT Freddy franchise. And he can easily win this match. Because this man knows what it takes. He knows he can't trust no other man in that ring. He's all alone. But he doesn't seem bothered. Freddy Franchise. These crowd, these fans, pretty excited. Freddy Franchise, as the lights start changing. And it is hardcore Carl. Hardcore Carl, you don't know what he's about. A beer drinking, ass kicking. And the man is well cut up, in great shape. And he looks ready to go too. This cowboy hat. And that is a hat you don't want to get your hands on. He doesn't let anyone touch it. He is obsessed with it. But he does love the LCW fans. And he's ready to go too. Poor Carl, one last finger to the crowd. And there goes that kid. There he goes again. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, there he goes again. You saw that? <laughs> what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, I can't control what you see out there in that crowd. That is the only thing I couldn't edit. The only thing I couldn't create. And just like in that 
That back and forth between Ace Adams and there goes many, many men fly. And we notice another beer drinking ass kicking. Him and Hardcore Carl come from the same state. They have the same home. But many man flies been around the world. The ex movie star turned wrestler. He traded it all away for a shot at the LCW Throwdown Championship. All the mayhem. <laughs> And there goes Manny Manfly. As these fans continue to go crazy for everyone. And who could be next? Who could it be? It's Manny Manfly with one last check to the crowd. And the lights are off. And there he is. The man of death. The man who feels no pain as he shoots his arrow into the crowd, poisonous gas. See the church. And I know I say it about most of these wrestlers, but this is one man you definitely don't want to mess with. He is possessed. And when he's in that ring, he doesn't care about life. As you see, he gets ready to enter the ring. This is part of his plan. Matches like this is what he loves. And now, uh, to the crowd. That man is scary, I'll tell you. Fans love him too. <laughs> but for how long? Excuse me. And who could it be now? And there is Ian Hunter. Ian Hunter's first first television appearance here in the LCW. He didn't show up in the Battle Royals or the ladder matches, and he didn't show up last week. But now getting his first opportunity, and what an opportunity it is to make a quick name for himself. Go, go, go. Ian Hunter used to be in the military. His father was a sergeant. <laughs> and his mother was a doctor. <laughs> That's why he calls his finisher surgical. <laughs> and he's definitely ripped up. He knows the opportunity that he's got. We're not done yet. Who else could it be? And the fans are on their feet. It could be someone then. And it is Bobby. Big Chips. Bobby Big Chips. And this man right here, he also comes from a military background. But he also has wrestling in his history too. As he wrestled on a ship. <laughs> and he was seen by the one and only Babbitt. And I quickly signed his ass. 
He's always had a love for wrestling, and now he's here. He did have an opportunity at the ladder match, but he did not, was not successful. But he does not mind making the climb again. And I don't know how much, how much more men are left. And we're instead, there isn't any. <laughs> we're ready to go. And ladies and gentlemen, at any moment, any man can be tossed out. That's Travis Benson is already in trouble. Hardcore Carl trying to get him out, but he's unsuccessful. And now he's trying to kick him out. Well, pay attention to any eliminations. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little under the weather. But even under the weather, I still couldn't. I still have to do this for y'all. All eight men, except for one standing. And now, Cedar Church is in trouble. It's Freddy Franchise. Freddy Franchise. He's trying to eliminate Cedar Church, and he's unsuccessful as well. And ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. As Bobby Big Chips gets out of danger, and Cedar Church gets out of danger as well. Manny Man fly laying under the ropes. Now Travis Benson under the ropes as well. No elimination so far. This looks like every man is being careful. Gordon Sharp gets thrown and now see the church is in trouble again. But nobody's there to take advantage. Now Ian Hunter, Ian Hunter could be in trouble. It's not time yet for him to be eliminated. Travis Benson probably won't get this. And now Warden Sharp, Warden Sharp can't, he can't be eliminated. And he fights out of it. And now Bobby Big Chips once again on the outside. But Warden Sharp couldn't take him out. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know how to call this. We'll just call any elimination we see. There's so much going on. And I know you guys don't know any wrestler by face. So to not confuse y'all. <clears throat> and Hardcore Carl now. Hardcore Carl's been eliminated. Hardcore Carl is the first man to be eliminated. And I don't think he cares. It's an opportunity to go get his beers. And now another man's been eliminated. It's been Travis Benson. I didn't see it. I was looking at Manny Manfly, who just got eliminated as well. And now the eliminations are coming rapid. Ian Hunter's in trouble in the corner. The water shark gets out of danger as Freddy Franchise is laying under the ropes. He's got to come up with something. And now just watching as Warden Sharp slamming down Bobby Big Chips. Freddy Franchise finally on his feet. And Ian Hunt has been tossed out of the ring by Cedar Church. That man is a monster. And it looks like Ian Hunter's complaining. But he has nothing to complain about. He was tossed out. And Warden Sharp now showing love to the fans, but maybe he should be paying attention. Bobby Big Chips gets out of that. Cedar Church rolling out. See the church in the corner. See the church has been eliminated by Warden Sharp. Warden Sharp taking out the man. The man that's dead. 
I didn't know what to say to <laughs> We're still working on his character. <laughs> and Warden Sharp gets out again. Oh no, he did get slammed. He did get out anyway. And what the hell was that? What the hell was that? And a nice move by Warden Sharp. Can Warden Sharp do it? And no Bobby, Bobby Big Chips gets out. Freddy Franchise on his feet. Freddy Franchise wasn't paying attention. He almost got thrown out. Oh my god. And now he could get thrown out. No, he gets out. Freddy Franchise gets out. And he knocks down Bobby Big Chips. And now choking the life out of him. His fans are on their feet. Now an elbow trap. But Bobby Big Chips needs to get out. And it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Warrior Sharp on his feet now. And Bobby Big Chips ending his momentum. And now Warrior Sharp, he could have him. He could have him out. Freddy Franchise just needs to help. Freddy Franchise just needs to help. He's not. Freddy Franchise decided not to help Warden Sharp. Why? And maybe he wanted to do it himself. I think that's what it was. That's the reason why Freddy Franchise wanted to do it by himself. And he does. Bobby Big Chips has been tossed. And now the final two. Warden Sharp, Freddy Franchise. And now Backbreaker. And now Kick to the Face. Another one. And Bobby Big Chips on the outside holding his head. And he's got to take the walk of shame. It's Freddy Franchise kicks. Water, 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 shop in the face. <laughs> I said water, water. <laughs> what a shot. And now he's setting him up. Water, shot, setting up for the franchise. No, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. And Freddy franchise with the power bomb. The GOAT taking over this match. And Warden Sharp gets out. And now he's gonna play with the crowd. Pay attention. If you lose, that's why. Not a smart move, but he still has Freddy Franchise days. But not anymore. And he got him anyway. And now Warden Sharp, Warden Sharp, he kicks Freddy Franchise, no! No! I thought it was over. I thought it was over. And Warden Sharp, no! Warden Sharp! Freddy Franchise with the victory! What a finish! What a finish! Ladies and gentlemen, the LCW will be back after this. And now a triple threat match as we continue on here on the LCW Thursday Night Throwdown. And on his way to the ring, it's the great one, gorgeous Gordon. And he doesn't look too happy as he's still upset he didn't get an opportunity to hold the gold because he fold, he sold. And it was told. <laughs> Gorgeous Gordon, not too happy right now. 
but you can't deny the physical specimen that he is. That man takes great care of his body. It's told he only lives on water. He eats once a month. And it's a large meal to cover up the whole month. And Gordon is Gordon. Looks like he's plotting. Street, 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 strategic. Sorry, I couldn't get the word out. <laughs> I'm struggling right now, guys. I'm not feeling well. I can hardly talk. <clears throat> and it's Max Miles. Max Miles. He knows about being strategic. There you go. <laughs> I struggled. And this young man right here. He's one of the young ones the same age as Curtis Crush. Whatever age I gave Curtis Crush in the previous videos. In a triple threat match, we know how dangerous these can be. Feuds can start. Rivalries can be created. And Max Miles milking his entrance right now. Here we go. Now we're, now we're talking exactly. These fans love it. And we have some great fans here at the LCW. And he tells them he's doing it for them. He sees them all. And he's ready to go. Not yet. Letting him know again. And now he's done. And now the last man to enter this match. It is the bad man. The bad guy. Willie Baker. Willie Baker who was wrestling in Japan his whole career finally decided to sign with the LCW when he heard we were going on YouTube but he's held numerous titles tag titles singles titles he even once held the hardcore title I don't know if they have a hardcore division out there but <laughs> if they did he did and Willie Baker is one of the older wrestlers we have here in the LCW, as you can tell by the, the receding hairline. But make no mistake about this man. There's a reason they call him the bad guy. Gorgeous Gordon Max Miles, Willie Baker. Here we go. And it's quickly Max Miles going after Gorgeous Gordon. And now scratching the back. And now return scratch. And Max Miles. Too smart there. And it could be a double team. This is what I mean. I'm talking about stuff like that. Could lead to rivalries. And now Max Miles. Sending him to the ropes. And all for nothing. That's Max Miles now to the ropes and he misses the kick or just going guys. He gets a couple of elbow shots. Willie Baker has got no problem sitting back just watching this. And he's still sitting back and course he's going to catch him. That's what he gets. Max Miles out the ring. And now Gorgeous Gordon going after, well he was going after Willie Baker, but now Willie Baker the one taking over now as Max Miles back in the ring and he messes them up. 
and gets a shot at Coach's body. And now both men, Willie Baker not paying attention again. What is he doing? I mean, he was playing possum. He was. Gorgeous Gordon on his feet and checks the crowd. And he gets his hands on Willie Baker and slams him down with a backbreaker. Willie Baker's out the ring. And Gorgeous Gordon going after Max Miles now. And he punches him in the face. And Max Miles getting out of that. And now he slams going to score into the ground. And it's Willie Baker. Willie Baker now taking over this match. Gorgeous Gordon goes rolling out. And now Willie Baker to the back of Max Miles. That got to hurt. And Max Miles gets out of that. And now a slap to the face. And now Miles putting him on the ropes on the bottom and now stomping on his chest. And now punching Coach Gordon. And now Max Miles. Max Miles going for the mileage. He's got it. Willie Baker's not paying attention. We got a cover. One, two. And what the hell is wrong with Willie Baker? And now finally, I think Willie Baker forgot where he was for a second. And a nice moves there. He's such a good defensive wrestler. He's not aggressive. He waits for his opportunities, as you see. <laughs> Right on cue. And maybe that's a mistake. And Gorge is going and making a mistake himself. And now kicked in the back. Willie Baker's on the outside. And now Max Miles trying to make him tap. But I don't think you're going to make Gorge is going tap that soon. And he gets out. And now a punch to the face. Gordon sent to the corner. Gordon coming back and now sending Max Miles down. Willie Baker back. What is Willie Baker doing? He's just missing. And now he gets sent to the corner. Kick to the face. Willie Baker showing how good he is. And now the cover. What is he doing? This is too late. One. And I don't know what kind of idea was that. Not a smart move by Willie Baker. And now Baker still can't get better. And he still can't get the, be the better of Max Miles. Max Miles too young, too agile. And now gorgeous Gordon. Gorgeous Gordon destroying the ring. Max Miles didn't see it coming. And he didn't see that coming either. Now the cover. One. I don't understand. Why would you go for that cover? It's too soon. And now Gorgeous Gordon. Max Miles is out. And Willie Baker with the perfect opportunity. Seizing his moment. But what is he doing? What is he doing? This isn't going to work. I'm not even going to count. Exactly. It looks like Willie Baker has forgot how to wrestle. And now Gordon now. Got the uppercut. And now Max Miles out of nowhere. And Gordon didn't, I mean, Willie Baker didn't see that coming, but he just gets the reversal. What is he doing dragging him? He had all the space. 
This isn't gonna work. Two, no. Come on. And now Baker with a kick to the back. And Max Miles rolling out. And Willie Baker now. Trying everything he can. Slam down, Gordon being tanked, is being covered. No, this isn't gonna work. I didn't even know. I didn't know what to say. I, I just knew it wasn't gonna work. And that's just pissed off Gordon's Gordon. And Willie Baker says he doesn't care. And he slams him down. Max Miles wasn't paying attention. Gorgeous Gordon is out. And Willie Baker now. Willie Baker now, is he gonna go for a cover? He's not, but he's hyping him up. What is he gonna do? Sends him to the ropes. He's gonna do the same move again. He is. And Willie Baker just not doing anything to win this match. Maybe he doesn't wanna win this match. And Max Miles coming right back. And now Gorge has caught him out of nowhere. And Willie Baker out of nowhere. His fans are on their feet. And there you go again. Willie Baker coming back. But kick to the gut. And then a slam. Now a cover. This could be a win. One. Two, no. Not happening. And now punch to the face. Max Miles is right behind him. Willie Baker getting out. And now Gordon getting out. And he's got him in the air. But no, Willie Baker. Are you kidding me? And now a beautiful slam. What is Max Miles doing? It looks like that's what he was doing, but no Willie Baker again. I'm telling you, Willie Baker. I don't think anyone is smarter in the ring. He's like a D. Malenko. What is he going to do now? He's going to try to make him tap. What is this? What is this? And course, Gordon gets there in time. Willie Baker almost got the victory. But now Gorgeous Gordon. Gorgeous Gordon now with an opportunity. But no, Max Miles. Max Miles. He could get a win here. Here's the cover. This could be over. One, two, no. Are you kidding me? What does it have to take? And now Max Miles. But well, Willie Baker's getting up. He's not gonna get the cover here. And he kicked out. Willie Baker just kicked out the ref. <laughs> what the hell was that? He kicked the shit out of the ref. And maybe it was a smart move because the ref was at two. And now Max Miles going for a finisher. It could be the high mileage. But the ref isn't up. The ref isn't up. Gorgeous Gordon is on his feet. Not yet. Max Miles doesn't know what to do. The ref is out. We need another ref. We need another ref. The ref is seeing stars. Willie Baker, what a slam. The ref is still out. Somebody get him up. And now Gorge is caught him once again. 
Max Miles trying to figure things out. The ref is finally, finally getting to his feet. And I think he knows Willie Baker did that because he's looking at him. And now Willie Baker out of the ring. And now Gorgeous Gordon. Could it be? Gorgeous Gordon, but no. He's next to the ropes. Max Miles is next to the ropes. What an idiot. Gorgeous Gordon is an idiot. And he doesn't deserve to win this match. And now Max Miles. Could Max Miles know to swipe on the legs? Willie Baker again back up. It doesn't look like any man has this match right now. And now an elbow. And it could be. This one could be over. He's got him up. We could see the end here. Gorgeous Gordon is not getting up. Max Miles, what are you doing? Cover him. Here comes the cover. One, two, it's over. Max Miles with the victory. What a triple threat. What a match. A huge win for the young Max Miles. And that can only bring his name up in the ranks. And we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. What a night we're having. Max Miles with the win. There goes the Spanish table.